Don't be mistaken, this will still eat your little fish. Dude, these guys are huge, bro. Perfect size to fade jock. Four inches, four inches. <laughs> oh my goodness. Which is very enjoyable when you see things like this. Check this out. Oh my God, another late night shipment. And there's so many more boxes. The weather got really cold too. Check it out, Rod's freezing. I can't stand this cold, bro. Right now it's about, what, midnight? 12.30? Want something. Love it. This is a shipment that came in from Asia. We should have a lot of cool stuff from the shipment, right? Yes, definitely. Pijai spent many hours of the day talking stuff that I couldn't understand to put this order together. So we're gonna help finish loading this before Pijai uh. breaks his back. We need him through the whole video. And we're gonna see you guys inside because it's really fucking cold. We're gonna get out of here, go straight to IHOP. You guys got a lot of boxes. Is this like a crazy Dude, shipment or what? 20 boxes, Pay Jai, in the middle of the night? 19. We have 19. families. <laughs> so you gotta do these special treats in these or you got Should have a lot of cool stuff. Like I said, sometimes talking in Chinese, Mandarin, Kentucky. Oh wait, no, Kentucky. Kentucky. What is it? <laughs> Cantonese. I can't understand. 99 percent of what goes up. Dude, this box is leaking really bad, dude. Box number one, what box is that? Uh, it's the STT. Oh, Adenoid. dude, I thought you said ST. We have STs on the shipment? Yes, we do. You're giving it away already. Hey, they deserve. They've been here with us for a few years. It's in the middle of the night. Guys, come here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Big guy likes hugs, too. Come here. Give him a hug. Ah, all right. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen him hug a lot of people at once. We're going to have some dad jokes today because it's pretty late, so we have to keep... Oh, sexy. Time to get serious. All right. Let's get started. This is gonna be for real. Fake Jai's already using his fingernails to get these bags open because we're trying to save rubber bands. We're oh, broke over here. These are good rubber bands. I'm yeah, saving these. see? Hey, don't forget your rubber bands. Before we go, merch. New merch coming up. We have some merch up already, but we're trying to figure out the whole shipping cost. Right, Fake Jai? We're I'm working on it. it. It's ready for sale. We're just trying to make the shipping a little bit cheaper for you guys. Right now, our website's freight cost is towards fish, not really merch. So we're waiting for our account rep to get back to us so we can start shipping merch all over the world for all our friends out there. And buying this merch or hats or posters, because we got posters coming out too, even stickers, will help us get to the monster tank and the exhibit that we're trying to build sooner than later. Fajai said, if we can build the exhibit before we get too old, he will even wear a Speedo and swim with Arapaima. Is that right, Fajai? No, I didn't say that. Oh, so I don't think he was one. I think I've seen worse. Yeah, remember we shared rooms in, in China. The story you can't tell. Next time, next time. Today's about the fish. So right now, all these detonoids are probably gonna be sideways because that's how they arrive. See how that worked? It was purple, but because this water has so much ammonia in it, it changed the color so fast. So knowing that, we have to put ammonia remover to make sure these fish are not gonna throw a little bit of ammonia remover in there. Boom, call it a day. These guys are really pretty. You know, you get so scary because they come in sideways. The colors are amazing. I love the NTTs because they have perfectly bars. Like the lines are perfect. You know, the space in between them. They all arrive sideways. It's just normal for that noise. It might take an, uh, another day or two for all these guys to start getting up. The first time we got them, remember? The whole bag was sideways. Yeah. And we didn't know how many you're gonna make and actually all of them came back to life. So if you buy one and yours arrive like this, don't worry about it. Just give it a day and you'll come back. All right, last bag of MTTs, but we actually have something cool to tell you guys. Fei Jai, what am I? Oh, these fish actually came from our facility in Thailand. You need to have acting class for Fei Jai because he's slowly starting to forget, you know, what to say. No, I don't forget. Don't it's, I like to be real. You don't forget, you just don't remember. <laughs> That's how it works. Actually, I'm the worst at this. Every time we have to do a commercial, one day we should put all the, the bloopers that we, <laughs> Dude, I can't remember anything to say. That's horrible. I we can't remember do that on the lives one day. Yeah, we literally have to go sentence by sentence because I'm the worst memorizing stuff. Yeah, Pichai, when we go to Thailand, I I can't answer that because, like again, we need to establish here. But 
I would like to go as soon as possible. Hey, people can donate a dollar to our trip and then we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> and we can close the doors for, for two weeks and the girls can chill, take care of the kids and then we go. I don't think we can close the doors here. We have to. The door's not even really open to close. <laughs> <laughs> no, today's gonna be one of those days. Let's go back to the fish. The dead noise are doing great. They don't have any signs of like fungus or anything like that. All of them are sideways right now. But I'm telling you, look, some of them already start getting out. So I am pretty confident that every fish in this tank is gonna come back to life. Guys, watch this. This is the magic clutch. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, come on. See, every single one of them start getting up. So they're just resting right now. They're just catching their breath. They're, hey Jai, let's, let's be honest. They're acclimated to the pH, right? They yeah. went on a long trip. They just flew across the world. They're acclimated to pH. What else? Explain to They're people acclimating home. to the ammonia, the pH, all the difference in water conditions. And we just have to take it slowly. That's basically it. I mean, there's, there's, there's piss in it. There's urine, ammonia, mm. fish DPR. What's that look? I cop when I flip. All right. I'm looking and I see something cool. We had these guys last time, but this time they're probably a little bit smaller. What do you think, Fijai? And look at the colors on this guy. It's pretty yellow. So these are goonch catfish. These are not the giant man eaters. These are actually goonch suchus. S U C H U S. Sorry, it's late. I, I just learned this yesterday. It's also called the crocodile goonch. This is just a flat one. Doesn't grow as big as the man eater, so they're better for smaller tanks. But just because this guy is smaller, don't be mistaken, this will still eat your little fish. So make sure if you are putting tank mates with these guys are fish that can handle it. But look how cool they are. Look how flat this fish is. So basically what they do is they'll sit there on the rocks, super flat, and as soon as the fish comes by, they're just like, wow, they'll jump on it and eat. Been working out, bro. Yeah, you feeling big, dude? Feeling big, yeah. Do you want to yeah, tell about the, uh, in the box you placed the other day? No. No, I don't want to talk. Do you know what happened next door? No. I can't do this anymore, bro. I'm going to go next door, and I'm going to end this right now. Every day we come here, and the sparkling lot's full. And that's it. I'm done. I don't care. The kickboxer, or the FBF, FWC, or FWC, I don't care. Are you coming with me? Let's go. Are you coming with me? Who's taking all the parking lot, bro? Yo, is this guy for real? Yo, who's bro, this guy? What are you What's talking about, bro? 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 Let's take it outside. Take care, take care. Outside. I just came here. They say you guys can use as much as you want. I even got you some water. We do here, here you go, bro. Here you go. I got you. I got you, bro. Got some water. Take the whole parking lot, bro. I even got snow shovel tomorrow. Don't worry about good, it. Better be shovel. You guys be good, bro. Better be, be shovel. Good. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I'll leave the water here. Oh, that's right. oh, Thanks, bro. Thank you. Let's get the. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we had to stop for a little bit because we had to put all these fish away. As you can see, they were just like the dead noise. They stay sideways, but all of them are sideways in a bag. So before filming, I want to make sure that we were taking care of the fish. But look how pretty these guys are. These are Chinese perch. They really get a nice, beautiful red on their body. Look at this. This one's showing a little bit. They get like three stripes through their body. See? These guys are really pretty. Once they acclimate, they can see a nice pattern on them, like this guy right here. You start seeing it a little bit better. Right now, they're still going through a lot of stress and acclimating, but the Chinese perch are literally a very, very cool fish. They're almost like a dead noid, as you can see. They even look the same. When they eat, they eat the same. They open their mouth really big and just suck the prey in. Do you remember the species of this Chinese perch, Pijai? Sina perca something. That sounds amazing. I love that. Right now, we're gonna put these little guys away. These are the hybrid red tail hybrid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I say hybrid twice? Red tail, tiger shovel nose hybrid. So far, very happy with the shipment. Fish looks healthy. All these guys are getting up. So just literally acclimating slow. I put ammonia remover, but our water is a little bit warmer than their water. So I just want to go slow and let them acclimate. All the barbs look like they're doing okay. I love the red fins at the end. <coughs> that noise, right now it looks like it's a total loss, but actually all of them will get out. Watch this. See? So they're just resting. We're just gonna leave them rest. The goonch, really cool fish. Let's just talk about them real quick while Fiji is opening the other bags. It's amazing how flat and long they are. Look, they even have like 
things in the back like a crocodile. And these are really hard plates too. Super neat fish. They literally sit by the rocks or by the sand like this, just waiting for prey to come by, thinking they're just a piece of like wood, right? That's what it looks like, a little piece of wood. And boom, when you go into those jaws right there, there's a lot of tiny little teeth. You can see those? That will just hold the prey in, and that's it. All right, all right, all right. This is the box I've been waiting for, Big Guy. I'm excited. We haven't had these in a while. Yes, and I know some people are waiting for them. So why don't you do the honors because you're the man of the house today. Oh my goodness. These are the highlights. Like, these are the humpback puffers. Bro, look at the Hold puffers. On. It's almost like a saltwater puffer from the underside. These are super cool. Actually, I like the size on these guys. And we're going to try putting them in the same tank, like because they kept them in the well, same tank. Well, they came in one bag, so I'm assuming they should be good. Okay. There's something else in here. Yeah, there is. All right, you do it. You do it. Nice. We got a little Casper here. It is a platinum red tail catfish. We haven't had these in a while. We, we had phantoms, but now we got the platinum red tail. It's been a long time, right? And I they're know. clean, they're nice. Beautiful they're fish. Good. We actually, they select to pick this for us. <coughs> Unfortunately, no more phantoms into a miracle happens again. Into then, we gotta be happy with the platinum. So we're back to getting the platinum, yeah. And if you're wondering, this is not Fabuloso, okay? Don't, don't worry about that. It's uh, something else that uh, FHI likes to put in the tanks just to make sure that it kills any bacteria that was from prior shipments. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see more of us, can you please help? <laughs> don't donate anything, just buy the merch. That will help a lot. Hey, how come you don't have merch? How come I don't have merch? Yeah, we need some merch for you. Yeah, I just got, no. haven't gone around Bro, I will wear this shirt, I promise. Guys, if this video gets over 2,000 likes, I will make this shirt and I'll wear it myself. Mm -hmm. I heart Fejai. And I'll make you one that says I heart Fejo. <laughs> Who's Fei Joe? Cryber's Fei Jai will drink this whole bottle of Ultimate and become the whole Ultimate King of Stingrays. I don't need to drink that to have that title. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Guys, we just remember this, okay? We'll forget it every video. But if you really like everything that we do and we want to support Fei Joe, <coughs> that's a little dying over here, and Fei Jai, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video because you help out the channel. And then we can keep going and do things for you like this, being here at 12. It's 2 o'clock already, right? Probably 2.30, yeah. I know it's our business, but we could have just been running around, getting this done and going home. We like to do this for you guys, so it feels like you're actually here at this moment, enjoying everything that we do, which is very enjoyable when you see things like this. Check this out. Hey, can we keep one? You always want to keep one. What's but then come? you end up selling it. <laughs> <laughs> Customers come first. All right, watch this beauty come out, bro. This is it. This is it. Oh, look at that. You know what I like about the Platinum though? The Phantoms for me are my favorite, but the Platinum's have a nice shine, the sheen that way, right? Yes, the metallic sheen. Yes. No black with these guys. Perfect species or perfect specimen. Look, after coming in with a stressful shipment like this, they're that white. Well, again, they've been at our place for a while, conditioned, that's why they're good. Like in the past, when we didn't have the place, it would just come in from the farms and then repack and go out. You're gonna so remember this. Difference. You're gonna remember this. Remember what we did uh, before we opened our business when I was in Florida, we opened, before we opened the one in Thailand. We did 16, I think, 16 or 24 flying red tails and I had a heater malfunction and we lost all of them. Mm -hmm. Remember that, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> These are Mono Argentus. So they're a brackish fish, but uh, fully adapted to fresh water. They kind of got the yellow fins on the top and bottom. It's a pretty cool looking fish. You can tell it's a brackish water fish because of the coloring but it's a little gray right now. Once we get it in the tanks, you guys will see. You don't see these very often. They're a little bit delicate, but again, we've been raising them for a while at our place, so let's see how they do coming out of the shipping. Who's gonna open all these little bags? Uh, boy! <laughs> That's three, four, five. That's doing pretty good though. All right, all right. You can tell we're getting tired. The laugh and the jokes. The energy less, is, yeah. these look Huge. <laughs> what are these? It's, it's bigger than last time. Yes, there's Indo tarpon. So yeah, so these are Indo tarpon. I actually, there's a couple smaller ones, but these guys are huge. Dude, these guys are huge, bro. And I love seeing larger fish. <laughs> look at the size of this one. There's a giant in here, though. Look, if you guys are looking for a bigger tarpon, I'll show you the giant. Look at this guy. That is awesome. And the Indo tarpons are pretty cool because they don't get as big as an Atlantic tarpon. So 
They'll still get to a decent size. I think they'll get to like two feet. I never really seen any at three feet, maybe in a while, but they have bigger eyes and they don't get as big as an Alarian tarpa. So they're better for an aquarium, like a larger aquarium. Super cool fish though. Look at this shot. Everybody's like, me, 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 big me. Perfect size to fit, Jai. Four inches, four inches. <laughs> it's a pleaser. <laughs> Actually, this is the perfect size See? for knife fish. Yeah. Knife fish. That's what I said, albino knife oh, fish. Oh, okay, <laughs> look at that. Super cool. I like this size better than last time because they're so little, you got to feed them a lot. And even feed them a lot, they still look super skinny, right? Yeah. So at this size, they're already more stable. They're, they can get, they hold their weight, weight better. On. Yeah. And they can eat bigger chunks of food, meatier foods. But I hate to say it, price went up on these guys. Oh, really? Even for us? Yeah, it's off season. So because it's off season, we have to pay more for them. Yeah. Show them these guys, they've been super healthy. Just gotta get that all that bad water to switch to good water. Guys, check out these platinums, bro. Hey, Jai, why you like these fish? Yeah, they're, they're they're selected out. But sometimes you see there's like there's a slight gray that comes and goes with stress of the fish. As you guys remember, when we opened it, it was pure white. But then after the acclimation, it changed. When they get stressed, they'll pick up a little bit. But there's no black spots or black markings. Now the main things that we look on fish like this because they're so expensive. We gotta make sure the fins are perfect. There's no deformation on the face, right? Those yeah. are the number one things that we look at because a lot of times the, the pectoral fin right here will be broken. These guys all look perfect, even though some are bigger than others. Really good quality. I'm very happy with it. So right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put them away, then we're gonna come back here, do a recap of everything that we got, and we're gonna have to end this video and jump to part two because this video is getting very long. So Fejai, you wanna do the honors? Sure. Here you go, my friend. Hey, hey, yeah. be careful. One foot in front of the other. Bro, are you actually <laughs> got me. <laughs> I know we needed small ones because they're, they're better in freight, but that size, they're super cool. Guys, it's 3.30 right now. Fejai is gonna do a quick wash on these things so we can start a new batch of fish, which is gonna be on part two. So if you wanna watch that, make sure you don't forget to follow. But let's just take a quick look and see what all the fish are doing. We got the monos over here. They all look like they got up. Believe it or not, there's a hundred of them in there. It doesn't even look like. I like how they school together. See that? It's super cool. When they get bigger, they look really nice. Here you got the big tarpons. We got the little hybrids over here. I wanna leave the light dark because I don't wanna spook them. We got the albino clowns, which is a great size. And here we got the switches. Now look like they're doing good. And then look at this. You walk by here and you're like, oh no, holy crap, we're screwed. Guys, watch. Tomorrow we're gonna do an update and you see all these fish are gonna be up and swimming. Maybe not all of them for tomorrow, but none of them are gonna die. And here, oh yeah, look at that. So we got the platinums. They're actually a decent size. And all the carps, the barbs actually. These are giants. Great size, these guys are going nuts already. Super healthy. Now it's part two, which is another eight boxes of really cool stuff. You don't want to miss this unboxing. I really appreciate you guys watching late night like this. I'm not. Sh I'm sure you're not going to be late for you, but it's super late for us. Stay tuned for this part. I, I, we're probably going to do back to back right away. So you got anything you want to say to your lovers? Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you guys next time.